Now, AB plus AC. Okay, the common factor of this expression is A. Okay, so common factor is A. So therefore, we have to take the A out. So which is equal to A, open bracket. Now, because we take the common factor out, which is A, so I'll get rid of it by divide by A. You see? So cancel out. So you should get, okay, B plus C. See? B plus C. Right? Okay, next one. Let's say 6M minus 6N. Okay, so the common factor of this is 6. 6 is common factor. So we take the 6 out. Now, because we take the 6 out, remember when you remove the bracket, you tom. Okay, common. When you factor right by using common factor, you take the common factor out. That means you do opposite, you divide. Divide by 6, divide by 6. This cancel out. So you left with M. See? And this one here, you cancel this with this. You left with N. That is minus N. That's all. Okay? So please remember that. Um, let's do one more on this similar type. Let's say P, Q, at, at P, M. Okay, so you can see that the common factor is P. See, there you go, common factor. So you take the P out. So you left with, you divide by P. Okay, you divide by P. So you cancel out. You left with this group. So Q plus M. Am I right? So Q plus N, okay? Now, let's add um, something that's slightly different from this, okay? So we're gonna move from here, okay? So just, uh, just slightly different, okay? So which is, let's say 6A at, okay, 2B, okay? Now, 6A at 2B, you have to look for common factor. Okay, the common factor of this is 2, because 2 can go to 6, agree? So 2 is the highest common factor. So I take the 2 out, so then I divide by 2, okay, so that give me 3. So that give me 3a, okay, and I divide by 2, that cancel out, so you left with b, so plus b, that is your answer, okay? Let's say next one, 18x, okay, minus 27 is equal to, now, because 18 minus 27, now you know, you need to know that the common factor of 18 and 27 is 9, because both are multiple of 9, okay, so the common factor is 9, so what we do, we take the 9 out first. Okay, then you divide by 9, because you take the 9 out, so that give me 2. See, so left with 2x. And then, divide by 9, okay, 17 divided by, 27 divided by 9 is 3. So it's minus 3. Okay, so if you expand, let's say if I expand it out, see what happened, okay? So if I expand this out, so 9 times 2x, so 9 times 2 is 18, so 18x, see? 9 times minus 3 is minus 27, you see? When you expand, you should give back to the original expressions, otherwise your answer will be wrong, okay? So that's that's how you factorize, okay, using common, um, common factor. So let's move on. Right, okay, this one here. Again, slightly different, okay? So with 4x squared plus 3x. Now, x, this time, x is common factor because x squared, 4x squared plus 3x. So x is a common factor. So I take the x out, all right? Now, because I take the x out, just divide by x, okay? So this x squared divided by x, cancel, left with 4x. So 4x. The x cross it out so you left with 3 that's all just add 3 okay number 6 I mean um, 6x squared okay Pl minus 
4x. Now, again, okay, remember, step number one, you look for number first, look for number for common, fac uh, common uh, factor, then you look for the pronumerals or letters if you like, okay? In this case, okay, you just focus four and six first. Four and six, the common factor is two. Okay, so I take the two out. Um, I take the two first. I don't want to jump too fast. And then for x, look, x squared, this is x. So x squared and x, the common factor is x. So you take the x out, you see? Now you can just divide by 2x. See, 2x. Divide by 2x. Again, if you don't know how to divide by um, simplifying algebra expressions, okay, by dividing, um, please look at my previous videos and I have explained all of those, okay? So let's get back to this. 6 divided by 2 is 3, okay? x squared divided by x left with x, so this is 3x, see? There you go. Minus, this cancel out. Give me two, x cancel out. So just minus two. See? So that's what it is. Okay, move on. Now, exactly the same one now. I'm going to add a, one more term extra. That's all, okay? So let's say 9x at 6y at 12. Okay? So three terms. It doesn't matter how many terms, you know, you just take out the common factor. Okay, so which means the common fact of this, um, pro numerals, there's none. Okay, but the, the number here is 9, 6, 12. Okay, you can see the common factor is 3. Okay, so common factor is 3. So which because is they all multiple of 3. So I take the 3 out. See, so now because I take the 3 out, so 9 divided by 3, okay, is 3. So 3x at 6 divided by 3 is 2, but is 2y. See, at 12 divided by 3 is 4. There you go. Okay, so that's that's your answer. You just do one step at a time. Okay, that's uh, that's how it works. Okay, if I add, you know, one more term, it's the same thing. Just look for common factor and you just take it out. Okay, I just want to let you know, this is three terms, you do as per normal okay now next one let's back to two term but we're gonna add more flavor okay so which is 5x square minus 15x y okay so now to do this the common factor for numbers first of all you look for number first okay 5 and 15 the common factor is 5 okay now for letter of pro numerals if you like x square here and x so therefore the common factor is x so i said five right earlier and then x square and x the common factor is x see that's all then five divided by i, I better write here so you can see i divide by five x i divide by five x see so then five cancel out x square divided by x so left with x so this is x so this cancel out, this give me 3. So your answer is minus 3y. That's what it is. Okay? Okay, let's move on to um, common factor involving negative numbers. Okay? So it's just, it's the same thing. Okay? It's not, nothing's um, new. It just um, add a bit flavor. Okay? That's all it is. So negative, let's say negative ab minus ac okay now this time the common factor is not only a negative as well okay so it's negative a negative a is common factor okay so what i do i take negative a out okay so now because i take negative a out i divide by negative a that's all divide negative a and i divide by negative a so now a negative divided by negative give you a positive so b left okay and then a negative divided by negative give me a positive of course sorry i forgot to write it down negative so that means positive okay so which is left with c that's all okay that's that's called negative common factor okay minus four m 
minus 6. Okay, so that means that negative 4 and negative 6, which is focus on, okay, because there's no other numbers or letters. So negative 2 is a common factor, you see? So we take negative 2 out. Now negative 2, because it's a negative, negative, I take negative out, 4 and 6 is 2. Just remember that for me. So I divide by negative 2, I divide by this by negative 2. So this this means that that cancel out, that leave with 2. Okay, so your answer is 2m, 2m, and that cancel out, give me 3, so add 3. Okay, so that's, that's the answer. Next one, let's say 11. Okay, let's say, um, let me wipe it off, sorry. Let's say minus 11, minus 11m, okay, minus, let's say, minus 11mm, okay. So the common factor, okay, is negative 11m, negative 11m, you see. So if I take negative 11m out, Okay, so you got to divide by this by. Next one, which is negative 11m. Divide by negative 11m. So that cancel out, left with 1. Okay, not 0, 1. Okay, because you're dividing, not minus, so 1. So plus, that cancel with this, left with m. Now, what I like you to do is um, I give you a few questions. Okay, four questions. Okay, I want you to try it yourself if you can. Okay, of course you can check your answer by removing the bracket. Okay, going backward, and you should know whether you get you get right or wrong. Okay, thank you so much for watching my videos.